Hey, 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 everyone, Rosbowski here, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's 3 information and speculation. Today, we're going to be talking about Balloon Boy and how potentially BB may have seen the killer slash the killings. Now, Hi. Hi. I've been having a little bit of a think uh, about Balloon Boy because I've been playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 again, and how much he annoys me. He really, really annoys me, and maybe there is a reason for this, apart from, obviously, the high and, and, and the fact that he comes in and disables your flashlight, but potentially, just going off a of Balloon Boy's behavior, is there something in that? Is there a reason why he is exactly the way he is? Has Scott programmed him to be a certain way because he has witnessed something so horrible that he is summoning the rest of the animatronics towards you? So, Hello? this is a theory, this is completely a theory, so don't... Jump on my ass if you're like, there's no way that could happen because it's just a little bit of a speculation. We don't know much about Balloon Boy. I mean, the phone guy never mentions him. A lot of people have said he's a hallucination, <laughs> but that was disproved when the Five Nights of Three teaser trailers came out and we saw that Balloon Boy's head was stuffed inside the box along with everyone else. Rip in peace, Balloon Boy. Um, so... Balloon Boy. He laughs. He says hi, and he giggles, and he says hello as he moves around the, the as uh, moves around the Five Nights at Freddy's Two establishment. His main aim is to come into the office and disable your flashlight. When he does that, obviously Foxy can come in and uh, attack you. But why does he do this? I think there's something in his programming. I think perhaps potentially before he was Balloon Boy, he was a child. Just a nice, ordinary child. Maybe quite simple, I don't know. Just, just a general child that likes balloons. He was just carefree and he saw something going on. He saw one of the, the what, um, a man or, or what he believed to be a, a yellow suited animatronic taking some children away. So he followed after them, saying hi, hello, hi, following them, because he thought something interesting was going on, perhaps his balloons in there, perhaps his cake. So he follows them into this room, and he witnesses something horrific. He may see the purple guy murdering these children. And then to stop this, perhaps he then starts screaming. He starts screaming, trying to draw attention to somebody around the building, parents, anybody's attention. To bring them towards this man, this murderer, and obviously, unfortunately, cuz Balloon Boy, or whatever he was beforehand, has noticed that this uh, BB is screaming, then, say la vie, um, Balloon Boy gets killed and stuffed inside, uh, well, maybe, maybe his uh, soul is floating around because there doesn't appear to be an animatronic for Balloon Boy before this, so maybe his soul is floating about the building, waiting for revenge, maybe he's a ghost already, just saying hi and hello at various different points in the, in the establishment before Marionette can get, um, the soul inside, uh, a body that would work, because, I mean, Balloon Boy's a standalone figure, we've not seen him before Five Nights at Freddy's 2, because we don't know much about that, and then afterwards, obviously, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, he doesn't exist at that point, he's been scrapped, so... At some point, Balloon Boy was put inside there. Maybe he was put in this, inside the suit at the same time as um, Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica and uh, Toy Freddy. Potentially, that was the same time there. But I think it's interesting. I think Balloon Boy's behavior is interesting because it's so different from the rest of them. There's got to be something about it. Maybe he's um, completely scared of the animatronics. Maybe that's why he's trying to come into your office. That's, a, that's another reasoning. But I like the fact that he is trying to... Maybe he's wit. I, I like the fact that with those baby blue eyes, those beautiful blue eyes of his, he has witnessed something. He has witnessed something so horrific. He is trying to drive adults or some attention towards the scene, and I think he's that's kind of explained in this behavior. He doesn't like adults. He's scared of adults. I mean, he has been murdered by one. He he has been killed by one. So it makes sense that when he comes into the room, he encounters you, and. He screams, he screams for help, and he disables your flashlight at the same time, and then they can come and kill you. I mean, he is driving the rest of the animatronics towards you. You are the threat, you are the enemy towards him and the rest of them, according to what their, their, their beliefs, because, I mean, you're an adult, you're a night guard. It makes sense that Balloon Boy would want people to, to, to capture you, to kill you, because you're a night guard. You fit the profile of the killer. So if he has seen the killings, then he would want to kill you. It, it just kind of fits quite nicely in there. I, again, this is just a theory. It's just something I've been thinking about because Balloon Boy intrigues me. He frustrates the fuck out of me and I want to punch him right in that smug face of his. But 
he intrigues me. He, he taxes my brain a little bit. I want to know more about him. Not much is known. And I want to know more. I want to know more. I think if he is a big part of the story, like I'm kind of making him out to be right now, I'm hoping that in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we might get some more information about him. I mean, Balloon Boy's already got his female counterpart, and uh, we want to, we need to know more about her as well. So I've got a couple of ideas about her that will be saved for another video. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and theories on this. Maybe has Balloon Boy seen the killer and the killings? Has he witnessed so something so horrific he can only say hi and hello now? He's coming to the room. Hi, hello. Oh, shit. My friends have been killed. And now I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And I'll see you next time for some more Five Nights at Freddy's 3 videos. I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye. Hi. Hi.